Hello and welcome to a history of math from Pythagoras to Newton where we cover the major math discoveries that have helped shape the world we live in today. In this lesson we cover the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagoras was born around 500 BC in Samos, Greece. Back then math consisted mainly of geometry which is the study of shapes. One of those shapes was the triangle, specifically a right triangle. A right triangle has one angle that measures 90 degrees. The Pythagorean theorem states that if you construct a square on each side of a right triangle, then the areas of the two smaller squares will always equal to the area of the larger square. So it does not matter how big or small you make a right triangle, this relationship will always hold true. But don't take my word for it, around 300 BC the world's first geometry textbook called Euclid's Elements was published. It consisted of 13 books and the first entire book is used to prove the Pythagorean theorem. Euclid's Elements did not only prove the Pythagorean Theorem, but the rest of the books are used to teach about the Golden Ratio, Regular Polygons, Prime Numbers, Irrational Numbers, and the Platonic Solids. This book really laid a solid geometric foundation for thousands of years that would later influence figures such as Copernicus, Kepler, Galileo, and Newton. Please like and subscribe to Mathematics Online to continue watching A History of Math, and thank you for watching.